So now with the help of plus add-ons for block editor, we can do event tracking and save this data in Google Analytics 4 and get some real event data collected from our website. Let me show you how all this is done. So here we have a sample landing page and using this download button we want to provide a pdf file to our website visitors and with that we want to track how many people actually clicked on this download now button. So we will be using the plus add-ons for block editor to track this event and then we will see all the reportings in Google Analytics 4. So if you come back here in our WordPress backend in the plugin section, we have the latest version of the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version. And now the most important part, adding the GA4 measurement ID in our WordPress site. So here we have our Google Analytics account for this site. And in order to get our measurement ID, we need to click on this range or this admin icon here at the bottom left corner. Let's click on this. And here we will click on data streams, all data streams. And here we have the measurement ID. Let's copy this. And now we need to go to plus settings and then click on extra options. And if we scroll down here, we have an option for event tracking by default, you will find this as disabled. So once you enable that, you will find an option to enter GA4 measurement ID. So we can paste our ID here. And we also find an option for Facebook pixel ID that we will cover in the separate video. Now, if you have already added the GA4 measurement ID on your WordPress site by any other mean, you don't have to enter this ID here again. So you can just enable the event tracking here and just click on save and leave the measurement ID field blank. But this one gives you an easy way to enter the measurement ID. And once you are done, just click on save. And now we are ready to track events on our WordPress website. And after that, here we have our landing page, which we have designed completely using Gutenberg editor and the plus add ons. And let's click on this download button here. And if we go in the advanced section, here we can see we have a new entry of event tracking. So if we click on this, so just like Elementor, we now got Facebook pixel as well as Google Analytics added here. So let's turn on Google Analytics first. And here we have the first option that is event type, which we can choose as recommended or custom. Now recommended events are the one which are already by default tracked by Google Analytics 4, like add impression, add payment info, add to cart, add to wish list, and the list goes on. And here on the GA4 support document, you will find all the recommended event list so here we have the ad impression, lead generation, purchase and all the other events. So all that can be tracked by GA4 by default. We have covered all of this information step by step in our blog post that you can find out in the video description below. Now apart from recommended, we have an option for custom. So here we can define the name of the event if you want to create a custom event and track that and then we can give the event properties. So let's say for this one, we call it freebie download. So we are giving it a unique name so that we can clearly see that in the event list of our Google Analytics. And now we have the event properties. Now here we can define the property name as well as the value. And the best part is we can add more than one event property name here. For example, let's say we call this property name as price and the value we give it as free. So let's say you have more than one files. One is free and other one is paid and you want to track which one people are actually downloading more. So you will be able to do that with this event property. So this one will give you the data for the free one. And then you can create another property where you can track the paid one. Along with that, let's add one more property. And here we can call it language. 
and then we give it a value as English. So maybe you have this file in multiple language and you want to track which language file is getting downloaded the most. So you can do that from here. Here if you check the Google automatically collected events, you will find we have a file download events added here, which means that Google Analytics 4 can easily track all the file downloads automatically. Now the question is, what exactly the use of event tracker then? And that is the point where event property comes in, where you can add a lot of event properties to have a deep tracking of all the events. So we are not just tracking the file download. Here we will also know which price or which language file has been downloaded, which is not possible with GA4 by default. So now if we click on this button here and if we go in the settings, in the link section, we will add the link for our PDF file and let's open that in a new window. And in the setting in the event tracking, we have already done all the settings. So let's click on update. And if we refresh this in our front end, so here in our Google Analytics, we can see the real time visitor. And under the examine user behavior, we have events option. Let's click on this. And here we have all the events that are being tracked by GA4 will be listed here. Now on this page, if we click on this download now button, it should open up our PDF in the new window and it should trigger the event that we want to track in Google Analytics 4. So if we come back here, here in our event section, it might not count the event instantly. So how to know the events are tracking fine or not? For this, we have a solution. We need to add a Chrome extension. And for that, we need to visit the Chrome web store. And here we will search for analytics debugger. So this is the Google analytics debugger that we need to add. I've already added that in my Chrome browser. So that's why I do not see the add button here. But in your case, you will find the add to Chrome option. So make sure you click on that and add this extension in your Chrome browser. Now, once the extension is added, you can see it in the top bar here. And here we can also see it's right now turned on. If you click again, it will turn off. So let's turn it on. And now let's come back here in our Google Analytics and we go to admin. And here we, at the bottom, we have a debug view. Let's click on this. And here we will be able to see everything step by step, how users are engaging with our website. Now you can already see we have a free download event already being tracked. So let me show you once again how everything works. So once again, we will refresh this page. We will click on download now button and all that event will be tracked in Google Analytics. And we can see that in the Google debug mode. So let's begin. Let's refresh this page again. All right, now let's click on download now. Here is our PDF. Let's come back to the debugger mode. Here we can see the event will start appearing. We have the first event that is the page view. Then we have the freebie download event that is the button click event. And then we have the automatic file download event that is being tracked by Google Analytics. And if you click on this freebie download, here we can see the price it's the free one and the language we have the English. So with this, we now know that somebody downloaded the freebie, which is the free one and in English language. So with this, we can now confirm that we have successfully configured event tracking on our WordPress site. And within 24 hours, all the data will be visible in Google Analytics reports. So this is how we can add event tracking on our Gutenberg WordPress websites using the plus add-ons for block editor. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and make sure you watch this video right here to learn more about how you can use the plus add-ons for block editor to add event tracking on your WordPress site using Facebook Pixel. And for more WordPress videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.